Okay, so I'm Oliver. For this laser A0002, this is small fork lift. Uh, troubleshooting, if something wrong happened, how to check, yeah. So open the cover, unlock, yeah. So remove, cut the wires, the, the trap. So remove the wires aside, you can see more clearly inside. So this, all the well pump, it is one unit. You can take out directly. So two screws from the front, one here, one here. Remove it, and the two screws from rear side. Small screws, remove it. You can lift up all this pump and the well block. So four screws removed, this block you can lift up. If oil leaking, you cleaning, or oil cleaning, then you start operating again to see oil if coming from the gap of the pump, nozzle, hose connections, or well block the uh, the block cover or leaking from the pressure release valve. After cleaning and running, you will see where oil coming exactly. Yeah? Then we can tell how to solve it. Yeah, if your steering servo here, yeah? if steering servo for sure have a problem, uh, after servo, plug to the receiver if it's well connected and uh, if it is burned, smell or not, if getting very hot or not. If for sure it's not working, you can disassemble this plate, two screws from here. After take out, this plate take out, you can remove, disconnect the servo for changing new one. So here, front, under there, uh, top have one plate, it's for connecting the cylinder, for moving the, uh, the fork. So if the driving system have problem, let's say cannot drive or have clicking sound, means inside the gears have worn out or bro broken gears, we have to disassemble the gearbox. So first the hub left and the right for driving, remove all round screws or take out, remove this tire left and the right, remove it, and also at this position have one screw, take out, left side is the same, yeah, remove the screw, uh, the tires remove and remove one screw, same position. So the fork, this frame secured by this two screw left and right, yeah, and also here, downside, eight screw, this one, two, three, four, all eight screw remove, this fork frame can take out together with the hydraulic system. So now all pump, valve, fork frame is all out. So only leaving the connection power line for the driving gearbox and the connection for the servo, uh, which can disconnect very easily. This is the power line to the gearbox. Disconnect, now we disassemble the gearbox for gearbox troubleshooting. So downside, four screws take out. We can remove the driving gearbox. So bottom four screws are removed can remove the gearbox completely. This hub secure plate can be removed. This big screw, uh, this nut, take out, remove it. So only remaining the gearbox alone. So normally if a driving problem cannot drive, only have clicking sound, or when driving have the clicking sound, means inside gear worn out or broken, we can open this gearbox, four screws on the top to check. Yeah, one, two, three, four, take out. Take out the cover. Then you will see inside, for the drive wheel shaft, this part, it's very strong gears. Mostly this one not broken. So if have broken, that's the motor and the speed reduced gearbox. This inside is a small gear. So mostly it is here inside the problem. So now you can test. So this one for checking to make sure this gear is okay. Yeah. You just use tissue paper, clean the, all the grease, clean it. Then you can check all the gears if worn out or have broken tooth or not. So if it's turning free or not, yeah. This one can check, click, see by your eyes. Normally this one no problem. Normally that's this gear problem. So you can turn it by your hand. If you can turn it smoothly or not, hear the sound. It's a very smooth gear sound. If you cannot turn it or stuck or have click sound, that's this one problem. Also power it on, you can see. Test, connect back, you can drive it to see, to make sure it is this one problem and only change this motor with the gear 
finish the solve the problem yeah have a connection to s battery driven smoothly no clicking sound that's okay also give a little resistance you will hear if you have clicking sound means this one broken just change it we will supply so this one good that's how to check also you can give a little resistance to hear if good or not okay that's the good one just for show you so for other problem let's say maybe leaking from here here just all this disassembled you can see all clearly where the leaking is exactly from to change the gasket to tight or to change some parts then we can de decide if lights which light is not lightning one light broken also you can follow the wires to see yeah we can change the light or we need to change the board then we can de decide thank you for watching see you